everyone. Today I will be making a raindrop bracelet, but now um now since Halloween is just kind of around the corner, 47 days, um I'll be making a Halloween bracelet. So um I'll be making a raindrop, but my border is going to be black and my two colors in the center are going to be purple and orange. So, it only takes one S clip, not a lot of bands, really easy. And if you guys want to know how to make this bracelet, keep watching. Okay, so you will need your loom in this configuration. The arrow is facing up. Um, and you're going to take one rubber band, and you're going to go from the center peg to the right peg. So you're going to do that, push your rubber bands down, and then you're going to go from the this peg up. So then you're going to take another one and you're going to go up. Another rubber band up. Another rubber band up. And all the way till you get to the top. So when you get to the top, you're not going to put a rubber band like this. You're going to take the rubber band off if you have already, and you're going to put it from the center. So you're going to push down all of your rubber bands, and then you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side all the way up, and then close it off from the center peg. peg. After that, you got to push down all of your rubber bands. So, now once you have that, you're going to take the color, colors, it could be one color or two colors, however you want it, your bracelet, I'm just making mine, Halloween, and we're going to take two colors, or one, going up in the center, so we're going to take my purple, or whatever color you're using, I'm going to go from the center peg to the one that's up, so this is what it should look like. Then you're going to take another one of your rubber bands and you're going to overlap it by putting it over it and then um, putting it on. So then you're going to keep doing that. You're going to put on your purple or whatever color you're doing and then your orange in whatever color you're doing. All the way till you get to the top until the border closes. So I'm going to skip until I'm at the top. Okay, now since you've done all that, so this is what your loom should look like. So now it's time to loop. So you're going to turn around your whole loom. You're going to push down your end rubber bands. And then you're going to take one color and you're going to do a cap band. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to put it in. And wrap it around one so you have two rings. Put it on the end. And it's time to loop. So this looping process is super easy. You just have to go under your cap band and grab the first top color, which should be orange or whatever color you're using. And you're going to pull it out so it looks like this. And you're going to loop it from to the first right peg. And you're going to go back under. Go under the cap band, and you grab your other first color, it should be purple or color you're using. Pull it up, and you're gonna put it to the left peg and release. Okay, so then you're gonna go under here again, and you're gonna grab the first one again and loop it over to here. And then you're going to go under, grab the black, and loop it to the left. So it should look like this. But you could um, do the border after the whole entire thing once you go all the way up, or you can do the border second. So now you're going to go under, grab the first one, bring it to the right, under, bring it to the left. 
same exact thing. Same exact thing with the other bands. Just gonna keep looping up and over. So I'm gonna skip until I get to the top. I'm gonna do this one more time for you guys. So remember, you're gonna go under, grab the first rubber band, you're gonna pull it over, bring it to the right, then you should have one more rubber band under here, you can't leave that out, so you're gonna grab it and bring it to the left. Okay, now since you've gotten to the top, now you're gonna go back to the bottom and you're gonna loop the whole entire border. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under your left peg, you're gonna go under and pull up the border, and you're gonna put it in the um peg up. You're gonna keep doing that until you go all the way up. Remember ice cream cones. That reminds me of an ice cream cone. Here's the ice cream. Here's the cone. Go under, pull the rubber band up, under, up, under, up, under, up, under purple, whatever color you have, bring it up, under purple, up, under purple, up. So now since I've gotten to the top, I'm going to go right back down and I'm going to do the other side. Now since you got into the top, you're going to go do the same thing. You're going to go under this peg, and you're going to bring it up and bring it to the center. Same with this side. Like that. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to flip your loom around, and you're going to put the loop band. So you're going to go under every single rubber band, and you're going to push out. So then you're going to take your color... So I'm taking the orange and I'm going to put it on your hook. And then you're going to pull it through like this. Grab that. And then um, pull it. So then you're going to pull it off. And then you're going to take it off your loom. So just easily just take it off your loom without breaking any rubber bands. Don't pull it. Okay. And now since you have it off your loom, this is what it should look like or Whatever colors you did. So now, time to make the bracelet part. I'm going to be making it thick, not a single. So, I'm going to be taking two of my blacks. And I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to be taking two of my oranges. And I'm going to be taking two of my, no, purples. And then now I'm going to be taking two of my oranges. And I'm taking... Four and then five. My wrist can only take five, but since it's thick, you might as well want to add one more. So now you're going to turn it around. Then you're going to take your bracelet, and at the end where the cap band is, you're going to pull the cap band out and you're going to 
put it onto the bracelet. So then you're then you're gonna loop all the way to the top. Then, then I'm going to take it off really carefully, but I'm going to grab this side and then pull it off. So now since I have that, I'm going to stretch it into place. Reach this one. Mm. Oh, it broke. So now there's only one here. So now I'm going to take this. And take an S Orden C clip. C clip would work good. And I'm gonna put it on. And I'm gonna take my other side. And I'm gonna put that on. So now I have my bracelet. A very pretty bracelet. Good with anything. Halloween bracelet. Yeah. I love my skull bracelet. That's why I have it. It's really pretty. So one more thing, guys. Please um, subscribe and like and share if you guys would like to. And if you guys do that, it'll help me a lot. So if you guys do that, thank you. And if you guys like, please comment. No hate, please. And all good things. So... Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, bye.